Hello, I'm Simon Whistler. You're watching the Today I Found our YouTube channel, and in the video today, we're looking at why ambulances are called ambulances. The word ambulance ultimately derives from the Latin ambulare, meaning to walk. This gave rise to the French hôpital ambulant, essentially meaning mobile hospital. In the beginning, this didn't mean what we think of it as today, that generally was just used to refer to temporary medical structures that could be easily moved, particularly early on referring to movable army medical hospitals. Ambulance in English first appeared around 1798, which also referred to these temporary hospital structures at first. Mobile medical transport vehicles were also being called ambulances in French around this time thanks to Frenchman Dominique Jean Larray and his flying ambulance, Ambulance Volante. These ambulances were designed to get injured soldiers off the battlefield and to medical aid during battle rather than waiting until the fight was over, as was common before. By the mid-19th century, the word in English extended to refer to any vehicle used to transport the wounded from the battlefields to the military hospitals. One of the first instances of this was during the Crimean War from 1853 to 1856. Shortly thereafter, during the American Civil War, such medical transport vehicles were known as ambulance wagons. The former ambulance name for mobile medical vehicles has stuck around ever since. About half a century after mobile medical transport vehicles were first referred to as ambulances in English, the phrase ambulance chaser pops up, referring to a certain type of lawyer, first attested around 1897. So I really hope you found that video interesting. If you did, please do hit that thumbs up button below and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Also over there on the right are a couple of other videos that you might enjoy if you enjoyed this one, and thank you for watching. Hey, so I really hope you liked that video. Now, you might be noticing that right now there's still a few minutes left to run on this one, and that's because I would like to play you a short clip from another video from another channel that I am also hosting. And I think if you like today, I found out you're probably gonna like this new channel as well. It's called Visual Politic, and it's basically in the same entertainment and education format that today I found out is in, except it's got a bit of a focus on politics, economics, as well as world events. So what I'd like to do now is play you a couple of minutes from the first video, which is titled, Why is Switzerland so rich? And I mean, if you don't think you're gonna be interested in this, if you don't wanna watch, feel free to grab another Today I Found Out video right now, but I would love it if you stick around. If you want to see the rest of the video that I'm about to play, please do click the link in the description below. That will take you over to the video on the Visual Politic channel. And there are also already 20 videos that we've already put on that channel that I think you'll really like if you like this stuff. So please go over there, please check out that video. And if you like it, please do subscribe. All right, here's the video on why is Switzerland so rich? And I'll give you a hint before we get started. It's not to do with banking. Often people think that Switzerland's wealth comes only because of their status as a fiscal haven. But think about it, there are other countries like Panama, Cyprus, the Republic of Liberia. These are fiscal havens too. Don't forget, Africa not only offers low taxes to international companies, but it also offers them opacity. But still, these countries remain low-income countries, while Switzerland remains one of the wealthiest countries in the world. And all of this comes with them having no natural resources, not compromising on democracy or human rights. In fact, Switzerland has one of the most egalitarian political systems in the world. And its welfare system is as good as that of Norway or Denmark. Additionally, their citizens not only have the right to vote every four years, but every four months. The Swiss don't just choose their leaders, but they choose their policies, with referendums happening several times a year. Switzerland has one of the world's best political systems, and we believe that this is the reason that they are successful. In fact, we think that the Swiss system should be a model for other countries, and in this video, we're going to tell you why. Reason number one. Decentralization. From a practical point of view, Switzerland is what is known as a confederation. In fact, it's the only confederation that exists on the planet. It is made up of 26 states, which are called cantons. The only thing that these cantons have in common are a constitution, foreign policy, and a currency. Aside from that, they are totally different from one another. Let's look at an example. Let's say you make a salary of 6,000 Swiss francs, and you live in the region of Jura. In that case, you're going to pay income tax of 14%. But if you made the same amount of money and you live in the region of Zug, your income tax is only going to be 4%. 
So I hate to stop the preview there, but I just want to show you a couple of minutes of stuff from this new channel. If you did like that, please do follow the link in the description below and that will take you over to the very same video so you can see the whole thing. There are also 20 more videos over on the Visual Politic channel. Also, if you did watch at this point, I want to thank you because you watched through the Today I Found Out, then you watched through and you gave me a chance at watching something new that I've been putting together, which I really do appreciate. I appreciate you supporting me on what I do on YouTube and I would really love it if you went over, checked out that new channel if you did like it, if you do like the stuff that we make over there, please do consider subscribing to it. It's not a daily channel, it's a video uh, channel with videos every Monday and Thursday. So yeah, just go over, check it out, and I appreciate you watching. Thanks a lot.